What do you think about AI safety in the simulated world? So can you can you have kind of create simulated worlds where you can test, play with a dangerous AGI system? Yeah, and that was exactly what one of the early papers was on, AI boxing, how to leak proof singularity. Uh, if they're smart enough to realize they're in a simulation, they'll act appropriately until you let them out. If they can hack out, they will. And if you're observing them, that means there is a communication channel and that's enough for a social engineering attack. So really, it, it's, uh, it's impossible to test an AGI system that's dangerous enough to destroy humanity. Because it's either going to what escape the simulation or pretend it's safe until it's let out. Either either or can force you to let it out, blackmail you, bribe you, promise you infinite life, seventy two virgins, whatever. Yeah, it can be convincing, charismatic. The social engineering is really scary to me because it feels like humans are very uh, engineerable. Like we're lonely, we're flawed, we're moody. And it feels like an AI system with a, with a nice voice can convince us to do basically anything at, at, a, at an extremely large scale. It's also possible that the, the uh, increased proliferation of all this technology will force humans to uh, get away from technology and value this like in-person communication basically don't trust anything else. It's possible, um, surprisingly, so at university I see huge growth in online courses and shrinkage of in-person, where I always understood in-person being the only value I offer. So it's puzzling. <laughs> I don't know. There could be a, a trend towards the in-person because of deep fakes, because of uh, inability to trust it. In inability to trust the veracity of anything on the internet. So the only way to verify it is by being there in person. But not yet.